Welcome to our contemplative Lenten services. At this time, I would invite you to go and dim the lights in whatever room you're in. Grab a few candles and light them as we create a holy and sacred space wherever we are. The structure of our services today is from the Tizé tradition from Eastern France. Part of their prayer time is spent in singing short, repetitive songs balanced with moments of silence. Each song is meant to be sung as a prayer. We hope that these repetitive songs become prayers which you can carry with you in your daily life. This evening, we will sing each song many times through, followed by a moment of silence. During the time of silent meditation, I would encourage you to offer your own prayers, meditations, desires up to God. You are also welcome to read scripture or just sit and enjoy the silence. May our candlelight, our scriptures, our song, and our silence be moments of the true and living God in your life. Luke chapter 15, verses 21 through 24. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf, kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. And they began to celebrate. Heavenly Parent, we can often feel like the prodigal child, unworthy and inadequate. We return home to you longing to hear the words, Rejoice, my child. You were dead and are alive again. You were lost and now are found. We are at home in your grace, love, and forgiveness. Amen. Bless the Lord, my soul. 
2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. Holy God, we come before you thankful that you love us as we are. We are creatures of your hand. We are a community formed by your spirit. With your sure and loving hands, shape us through the grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. From Exodus chapter 13, verses 21 and 22. 
The Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them along the way, and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light, so that they might travel by day and by night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. Gracious and compassionate God, your redemption has come into our hearts like a fiery pillar to lead us into the promised land. We pray that your covenant, full of grace in Christ, might stand forever among us, framed in the faithfulness that only you provide. Amen. <laughs>